Good morning everybody. Today I am working on making some bath salts and so the recipe I am going to use calls for four cups of Epsom salts, one cup of sea salt, one to two teaspoons of glycerin, 30 to 40 drops of essential oil, one cup of baking soda, and some herbs. Now I'm not using sea salt, I'm using pin, uh, excuse me, pink Himalayan salt. So you can see I already have in here my um, four cups of Epsom salts and I need to break this up in a cup of the pink Himalayan salt. Once I get this broken up, I'm going to add my one cup of baking soda and then I will add the other ingredients. Also today I am working with let me see if you can see these. These are Prenite on Epidote and they are supposed to help heal the healer. Isn't this lovely? So here's one I have and I'll show you this other one. Here's the other one I have. Yes. So obviously trying to do a little bit of healing work. Um, <laughs> excuse my messy working table. It is jam-packed with various things and I know that it is just too much going on right now. But it is what it is. I'm doing this this morning and I wanted to share it with you. Um, so, I've got my oils open and ready. I'm going to be using lavender for sure. I might add a little bit of um, chamomile. I'm going to get a few things set up and then I will be back. Okay, here I have the pink Himalayan salt, the Epsom salts, and the baking soda mixed together. And before I add my wet ingredients and then I'll add my herbs last, um, I thought I'd go ahead and explain the process, the thinking process of choosing these particular ingredients. There's a lot of different um, recipes online you can find for making your own bath salts. A lot of them call for adding coloring. I'm not going to be adding any artificial coloring. Um, so, okay. A lot of them call for sea salt. I chose to use the Himalayan pink salt because it is pure hand mined salt derived from ancient sea salt deposits and believed to be the purest form of salt available. The reason for using Epsom salts in your bath salts is that, okay, first of all, Epsom salts are magnesium sulfate. And this says they do wonders for you in the bath. I, I'm reading from something I got offline, just so you know. They are best known for their ability to soothe sore muscles. This is because the magnesium sulfate is a muscle relaxant. It draws toxins from the body and is also a sedative and regulator for the nervous system. The magnesium also helps the body and mind to relax. Studies have shown that it raises serotonin levels, causing calm and mood elevation, lowers blood, blood pressure, and lowers the effects of adrenaline. Epsom salts, if used regularly at least three times a week, can also elevate the body's energy level. Okay, the baking soda helps wash away oil and perspiration, neutralizes acids on the skin, is especially great for soothing skin rashes and can even help chronic problems like eczema and psoriasis. Uh, let's see, some also claim that it helps counter the negative effects of radiation whether from the sun or from x-rays, cancer treatments and the like. Okay, and I'm going to be adding glycerin. Let me change the position here. I'm going to be adding glycerin. Now this is optional, 
glycerin, um, let's see, used in bath salts is a very effective skin softening agent. And the essential oils, I think most people are pretty familiar with the benefits of essential oils, uh, aromatherapy, and um, various benefits depending on the, the essential oils that you're using. So next I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of the glycerin. Then I'll be adding, let me see, let me show you. I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of the glycerin and um, lavender oil, essential oil, and some um, blue chamomile. Once that's all put together, I'll come back and show you the herbs that I'm adding. And um, then we'll carry on from there. Okay, thanks for, thanks for watching. I'll be right back. Okay, I have added um, one teaspoon of the lavender essential oil and then several drops of the blue chamomile here. And, um, you know, I got rid of the spatula. Best to just do it with your hands and add your own energy to it. So that's all mixed up. The only thing left to do is add my herbs. So I'm going to give them a little bit of time in here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to add. I'm going to add eucalyptus. Eucalyptus healing and protection. I'm going to add lavender. I'm going to add some chamomile. And I'm going to add some rose petals and rose buds. And this is a mixture of you can see layers of, sorry for the glare, you can see layers of the red with the pink. I tend to prefer the pink. The red, the red has a really strong scent to me, but I'm going to use a mixture of both. So I'm going to add these four things, give them a little time here in the mortar and pestle, and then I will be adding them to this. And once I get that done, I'll be back. Okay, so I've gotten, I, what I did is I got about three handfuls of each one of the herbs I wanted to add. And um, some of them I put, well, all of them except for the lavender I put in my mortar and pestle. And when I'm doing that, I'll do what's known as garbling. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a term for it until I was reading in a book, but, you know, it's just where you go through and get out um, the stemmy, pokey pieces. So, um, what I thought I would do is explain to everybody the uh, serendipity that led to me doing this. Over the weekend, um, you know, my grandson was spending the night and he wanted to take a bath. And I said, well, would you like to take a bubble bath or would you like an herb bath? And he's, oh, an herb bath, an herb bath. So. I brought him in here and we picked out some herbs and he was excited to use the herbs I showed you, the rose, roses and um, chamomile and lavender and eucalyptus. Now for his bath, I didn't do all this with the Epsom salts and all that. He just really wanted the herbs in his bath and I added just a tiny bit of salt. And my main reason for using the eucalyptus was because he has some congestion going on where it's hard for him to breathe through his nose. And I think eucalyptus is very good for opening up that with a nice warm bath. So anyway, we did that and then afterwards and I ran out to Starbucks to get myself an iced latte and I was talking to one of the guys that works there and um, I was telling him about how excited my grandson was for his herb bath and he said oh when are you going to make me some um, bath salts and I said well you want just the herbs or you want bath salts and he said I want the bath salts and he's always got such good energy he's always generally in a good mood and puts a smile on my face so I was happy to do that for him um, one thing I thought I would share is 
uh, Friday night, y'all, I had to go to the emergency room. And they ran just about any test you could think of on me. They didn't want me to move. They were afraid, actually, that I might have a blood clot in my leg or in my heart. And so I had blood tests done, and um, I had to have a CT scan, chest x-ray. They did a sonogram on my leg, and they ran all these tests, and oh, an EKG on my heart. And the doctor came in, and he said, you are, nothing is showing up on the test. You are so healthy. And, you know, part of me, I was, of course, happy not to have a blood clot because that's what everybody thought what was going on. I had this, I've been having this horrible pain behind my knees, and it gets worse when I sit down at my computer, and a lot of the work I do is on my computer. I do um, graphic arts. So, um, anyway, I was glad to get the good news, but I was also thinking, well, now I feel like people might think I'm a hypochondriac. And he said, well, no. It's good you came in and had it checked out, you know, because I'd had cancer before and everything. He said, that would put you at high risk, but you're really very healthy. And so I talked to him about some alternative um, things I was considering doing, and he was all for that. And so I have a few things I'm going to do to heal myself. You know that old saying, physician, heal thyself? That has happened with me in life more often than I can um, remember. As a matter of fact, when I had the Hodgkins, I knew what was wrong with me before the doctors did. Um, and you know, we can't always go. Some, now, if you have, you know, uh, an, a throat infection, some strep throat, or ear infection, of course you want to go and get an antibiotic, right? If you have a broken leg, you want to go get a cast. But sometimes. We just need to listen to our bodies and think about what we can do to help ourselves. And so this is part of what I'm doing, and I'm making enough, as you can see, to um, be able to share with other people. I'm going to be doing this in a bath. Now, see, normally I rush. I take a shower. I don't take care of myself the way I should because I'm always happier to take care of other people. And I think, <clears throat> particularly us women, whether you're a mother or not, it's our tendency to always want to make other people in our lives happy and make sure they're healthy and happy and taken care of. And sometimes we, we ignore ourselves. And I've been noticing in the videos that I've been posting that, wow, I look very tired and just depleted and worn out. So this is one of the things I'm going to be doing is treating myself or helping to heal myself using these bath salts. I have a few other things I'm going to be doing besides working on um, having a better diet. Lately I've been really bad with my eating habits, drinking way too much coffee, not eating enough fruits and vegetables. It's been raining, it seems like almost for a month. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm gonna go out into nature and take my dogs out for some good walks and everything and um, I'm going to do a few uh, things that I know to do t for the inside of my body and I think that will help me quite a bit. The only thing I left that hospital with besides a huge bill I'm sure is um, a prescription for painkillers. Now I haven't taken any of those yet. I really hate pills. Um, it's not what I would like to do. I avoid taking them. Uh, at all costs. I'd rather look for a natural way. I think if we listen to our bodies, our bodies will tell us what we need. So, okay, anyway, I'm going to get this mess cleaned up and um, put this together in some packages, one for my bathroom and then a smaller one for the guy at Starbucks. And I'll show you that and then um, I'll end the video. So, hold on and I'll show you that. I'll be right back. Okay. We've got the finished product here. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I'll let you look inside and see. It smells good, looks good, feels good. I'm gonna charge it up with my pendulum after I'm done with this video. And I made the little 
gift I'm giving away. Put a little tag on it just with the herbs listed. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. While I was working on this, I had a few other ideas of some other types of bath salts I'd like to make. So I see an order from Mountain Rose Herbs in my future. Okay, well thank you for watching and I hope this finds everybody having a really great Monday. And I hope you have a fabulous week. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. Many blessings to everybody. Bye.